Hey fellas, before we get in the video, I just want to quickly say that I'm advocating for or encouraging the doxing, targeting, harassment, or bullying of any individuals that we mentioned or featured in this video, video, or this is an opinion piece of my particular commentary on the subject matter, however controversial as it may be. So, without that quickly say it, let's go ahead and start the show. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Japan back in action. Talk about CS today, but something else, we're going to be returning to a previously discussed topic. Because you know what? I never made a proper response video to Hypnos Sappho's call-out post. Our dear friend Hypnos Sappho. Doesn't that have a nice ring to it? I'd like you all to take your hands right now, clasp them as if you're about to pray, and nod your head in silence. Because I want you all to wish Hypnos Sappho well. All right, because Hypnos Sappho, she has definitely gotten on the straight and narrow. She is living life, living large. She is definitely cutting contact with the kids. She's no longer contacting minors. She's definitely getting the help that she so desperately needs. And she's a born-again Christian. Hallelujah. And... <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. I can't say that with a straight face. Um, did I say that she was a born again Christian? And she was doing this, that, and the other. Yeah, I must have been. I must have been like kicking the head or something because um, she's definitely returning to some activities that she was known for in the past, like in sorting with minors. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Um, I want you to go ahead and suspend your disbelief and will yourself back three months in time. <laughs> A video is posted where she basically makes a call-out post aimed at me and Coyote Lovely. And honestly, like, the video, it, it was hilarious insofar as how badly done this was. Now, a lot of people that are Hypnos Sappho fans, obviously, they absolutely saw this as true gospel truth, okay? Spoken by their dear cult leader, Hypnos Sappho herself. And here's the problem. So, him and Sappho throughout the duration of the video, she likes to say evidence a lot. Like, acting like I have no evidence against her. That all of my claims fall on deaf ears, and therefore I just need to fuck off, and I'm just some fucking anti-idiot. Alright? The problem is, she herself, the only evidence that she really posts throughout the duration of the entire video, like, two pieces of evidence, alright? One being her Telegram chat image, which is basically just Lucifer from Devil Man Cry Baby, which is an obscure anime, okay? I've heard of it, but I never watched it, and of the thousands of animes out there, am I supposed to have encyclopedic, like, knowledge of each and every one of them? I don't think so. Um, as far as the other piece of evidence that's, like, really substantial, um, it's three medicine bottles. Like, you know, Paxil, Trazodone, uh, Seroquel. I forget the third one. It might have been Seroquel. But, like, that's not very substantial, okay? And a lot of the evidence, she complains that the evidence that I would post is, just trust me, bro. I got the facts. I just can't show them to you right now. But, like, she herself, she just kind of waffles throughout the duration of the video and, like, is acting like, see, it's right in your face. And it's just like, bitch, you didn't post a damn thing except for, like, a blurry as fuck, like, image of presumably your stay at the Hartford Institute of Life, if it can be believed, um, detailing two weeks. Uh, but anyway, I, I was kind of straining my brain as far as what kind of form this video was going to take. Was I going to break things down bullet point by bullet point? Because him and Sappho, she was gracious enough to provide me a little list of timestamps so that I could just, you know, go down the line of. Or was I going to provide my opinions and just do a shotgun blast, fire from the hip kind of style video? So I decided that the best thing to do, given all the time that's passed and everything like that, I was going to do a mixture of both. All right. So, my honest to God opinion, I've already told you, but um, honestly, I just feel like him and Sappho is putting on a little bit of a show. You know, she's basically saying the things that she either thinks that we want to hear or is just good enough that we'll accept it and not question it so that she can go ahead and gallivant and do the things that she was known for doing in the past, like consorting with minors and various other things like that. Um, the problem with that is she posts literally next to no evidence. So, the only evidence, evidence, if you want to believe it, is really her word, okay? You have to consider whether or not her credibility is substantial enough that you can really believe in what she has to say. Now, me personally, coming from a pathological liar like that, that's pretty laughable, and, you know, you should honestly feel bad about yourself if you, uh, you know, with reckless abandon, believe everything that she tells you. 
because she lies through her teeth, okay? I'm just going to be flat out honest. And like, there are so many inaccuracies. She keeps misrepresenting the truth. And I'm going to go ahead and assume that she lives in the fantasy land because the only way that anything that she presents in the narrative that she presents is true is if she's living in a fantasy, like an entirely separate plane of existence, distinct and distinguishable from her very own. But I'm not going to get too far into myself. Let's just go ahead and jump into the video and meet back up at the very end, sort of share closing thoughts and see what we can talk about in the next video. First of all, what the fuck is up with her choice of avatar in this video? I guess she really just wants to drive home the point that she's the personification of all evil because uh, Sappho went full demonic on us in this video. Also, not to harp on this too much, but her channel name, Valerie Sappho, that's a lie in and of itself because she publicly declared not too long ago that she was retiring the name for good in light of all the internet drama, but she's now Valerie Sappho. I guess technically, there's no hypnotist in front of all that, but still, Valerie Sappho, that is her fursona, and she was retiring it because of the fact that the name had become tarnished from all of the drama and controversy that had built up to this day. Hey everyone. Hi, Sappho! I decided to come back again. Well, that sucks. And this time I'm not going away as easily as the last time. Yeah, because it went so well for you last time you left and came back, right? That one didn't age quite so well. I thought I would clarify some things and then talk about people like Tujo Panda and Coyote Lovely. Oh, I'll be referring to as Kyle at some points in this video, I'm sure. Uh, why I dislike them, why I think they're intellectually bankrupt, why I think they're dishonest. Um, and yeah, re really just go over all of that in the recent video. But first, my opinions have changed. Bullshit! Your opinions haven't changed. You just want to kind of backpedal and tell us all what you think we'll accept or what we want to hear so you can sort of point at this video and claim this is what you actually believe. And I've become far more nuanced and I wanted to explain that. See, nuance and philosophical conjecture aren't really going to dispel the notion that you're not a dogfucker or a map, nor will the tagline label of paraphile convince anyone of their right mind that you've actually changed. Try again. Firstly, I'm not a pedophile. Warning! Warning! Bullshit alert! I'm not a pedo. Flat out. Yes, you are. Okay, like, the claims that you're not a zoophile or a pedophile, that is empirically false, alright? Like, why do you have this inclination towards minors, is my question. Like, why do you draw in so many kids? Every time you leave for a couple months and then you come back, there are, like, legions upon legions of kids that just kind of, kind of like, drop off at your door. Which leads me to believe that you've been grooming them the entire time. I agree with the standards in Europe. You know, I, I agree with half the United States and most of the rest of the planet that I personally think... 16 should be, you know, appropriate for her age of consent. Could you imagine her using that as a defense in court if she ever got prosecuted? It's just sort of like, no, your honor, I simply have adopted the European model in terms of my understanding of the age of consent laws and have acted accordingly. Oh man, that'd go over really well. That doesn't mean that I support sharing illicit material or anything like that. This coming from the same woman that shared illicit material throughout her Twitter, which, if you remember, had a sizable proportion of minors following it prior to her being suspended right off of Twitter. Also her DMs, if that's anything to go off of. And I also think the US legal system is a nightmare. Regardless of whether or not you think that the legal justice system is a nightmare, you're still privy to the laws of the land. I'm not into prepubescent kids. I've never been into them. So, you've never been into kids, then why is it that you hang out with a predominantly young teenage demographic who lovingly call you Mama Sappho? Like, obviously you try to justify your views under the veil of nuance and backpedaling from your earlier zeal and convictions and clearing yourself from that, but most of the internet sees right through that bullshit. I think that Europe has the right idea, because when an older person dates a younger person, there's a lot more responsibility and scrutiny placed on that older person, essentially. Um, learn your definitions. I didn't try to get a cupcake like EDP. 
That's okay, Sappho. Knowing how many miners you've been in contact with, I'm sure one with your dear followers would just bring you one, just because you asked. Well, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake. Secondly, my opinion on Zoophilia has changed a fair bit as well. My opinion is a personal theory I have. Oh, okay, Sappho. Well, hey, are you willing to explain to the rest of the class your personal theory? And one that would probably never work in the world the way it is. It's a personal theory of mine. Will probably never work. I'm not even going to bother explaining it right now. We're moving on. I'm, I'm being honest here. That's why I'm no longer advocating for it or openly supporting it. If you're no longer advocating for zoophilia, why are you still using terminology like antis to refer to the rest of us? Like, you're still fostering this us versus them frame of mind between you and your followers, okay? And, like, if you just want to be accepted by the World Wide Web and the internet community at large, then you'd kind of act like a normal person. You wouldn't be using antis to distinguish yourself as a zoophile or paraphile, if you prefer, um, versus the rest of us, all right? I still maintain that I get to compare the treatment of paraphiles to other marginalized groups. And no, I didn't mean to insult people um, by bringing up the LGBT community and gay rights movement and stuff. You know, I think it's just absolutely atrocious that Hypnist Sappho didn't include the Q in the LGBTQ community. I mean, queer people are just as legitimate and valid as anybody else, whether they be gay, lesbians, bisexuals, transgender people, okay? Like, I am absolutely bereaved at the fact that she forgot the Q in the LGBTQ. Uh, but what you, what you people would realize if you just for a second used a brain cell that I'm not saying that LGBT and paraphiles are the same thing. They're not. What I'm saying is that the way they're treated is pretty similar. That's all. Uh, 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 that is not all. Because you and I both know that the comparison that you were trying to make is that the struggles of the LGBTQ community back in the 60s and 70s when they were getting beaten down and treated ab like absolute trash um, is comparable to how zoophiles are treated today. And the implication that you were trying to make through a false equivocation is that so too did the LGBTQ community underwent strife to get to where they are today. So too must zoophiles fight for their right to make love to animals. That is the underlying inference that you were trying to make, and that just don't fly with me, sweetheart. Just, I'm just saying. And it's personally, you know, whether you believe at this moment in history, it's justified to, um, you know, tell mentally ill people to kill themselves and stuff. I think that paraphiles should not be hunted and harassed just for being paraphiles, in my opinion. I mean, I think they should if they're actively harming minors throughout their illicit activities, i.e. grooming. I want to get that out, um, and I, I want to get out of the paraphile community. I've, I've wanted to, uh, but you people literally make it impossible. You don't want to leave the paraphile community because you openly associate with known maps, zoophiles, or paraphiles, as you like to call them, and minors, especially the kids. Like, it's like I'm literally not allowed to, so I have to stay in and support the paraphile community. Sappho, nobody's forcing you to remain in the paraphile community. That is a choice that you undertook of your own free will, okay? And like, we people, we people that criticize you for giving us a shitty message in your first video, your coming out video, um, here's the problem. Like, you have plenty of options. You had every opportunity to take steps to try to improve your situation, you know, get the help that you actually desperately need. But see, here's the thing, a year later after the fact, there has been virtually no improvement as far as your demeanor or how you operate online or anything like that. Um, you don't have to stay and support the paraphile community, which actually just translates to the zoophile and map communities. But um, you just seem to have sort of like left every other option off the table and have defaulted into, oh, I need to ex like, you know, support the paraphile community because that's the only place I'm going to be welcome. 
you're not going to be accepted back into normal everyday society, I hate to say, because you've already made your choice that you're going to stay with the paraphile community. A community that is occupied by zoo files and maps. This is further substantiated because she, in the past, truly seemed to believe that people like you watching this video right now and me would be remembered as like the KKK for standing in the way of zoo file rights and pride. She made statements like that. And like using the term paraphiles now instead of zoo files or pedophiles as a smokescreen for how abhorrent those things are. And like, it's strange because she sort of segues mid conversation and goes on to just be like, I have to remain a part of the paraphile community because you people don't let me do anything else. So let me get this straight. You have no other options here. You can't just go on the straight and narrow. You can't just be an ordinary person like the rest of us. You can't just like stop associating with minors and or better yet, get off the fucking Internet. Um, you have to stay and support the paraphile community. That is a conscious choice on your part. OK, nobody's making you do that. People are just angry that you kind of gallivanted with this whole, like, you know, struggle. That you were going to take on the struggles of zoophilia and pedophilia on your back and become a champion of the cause. And when it didn't work out for you, then you kind of ran away with your tail tucked between your legs. And now that you're back, you're trying to control the narrative and rewrite your own history. And I have news for you, sister. People don't have that short of a memory, okay? Try again. Because you all legitimately give no way out of it. I mean, hey, I can think of one way out. And, you know, that's not me, you know, being negative about the paraphile community or anything. It's just, you know, I, I don't want to be involved with all of the hate anymore. Another lie. If you don't want to get involved with the hate anymore, why are you still getting into useless arguments and making a public spectacle of yourself to anyone who will listen? You want to win, but you think being a scorpion-tailed banshee woman is going to help you win. Somehow. And it's been that way for a while. I was in a mental hospital. I stayed at the Hartford Institute of Life in Hartford, Connecticut for about two weeks and periodically had access to my phone. The question of you being in a psych ward was largely a matter of doubt, but signs of your various activities outside of the psych ward seem to allude to the fact that it was kind of bogus. I mean, you could have been in a psych ward for what? A week? Two weeks? Two months? A year? And, like, at the time, you sort of left it an open-ended question. You didn't really specify the duration of your stay, what the nature of your stay was, what the problems were being addressed, just that you had been involuntarily committed and you'd been there for a while. And as far as the phone access, by and large, most mental health care facilities do not seem to allow for access to a phone. All of my friends living in a variety of different places across the country, just to satisfy my curiosity when I asked them, corroborated that standard practice was the confiscation of a phone. You were known to have had access to a phone and the internet during the time you were in psychiatric care, which was kind of strange at the time. And on that one little point, if you can be believed, you got me, but I expressed doubt as opposed to outright refuting you. Since I haven't actually done anything, technically I, I haven't like committed a crime. I just say I, I'm a zoophile hmm. and also I'm a map, so yeah, whatever. I look at artwork. I look at fucking artwork, <laughs> that's all I do. <laughs> just all, all I can say don't ever go to the talking to your <laughs> And yes, I am a high suicide risk and still in therapy to this day. I don't want people to bother them really, but if you called and asked, they would literally tell you that yes, they did allow cell phones to be given at specific times and then turned in later in the evening. And there also had to be like tape on the camera and stuff for like patient privacy. Um, you know, and yes, I am on all of the medications that I say I'm on, which includes Trazodone, Seroquel, and Paxil. Those are some nice pill bottles you got there, Sappho. You taking your meds? Because I'm starting to think that you're not. So... You know, maybe instead of being stupid aunties, consider for a second how you can be wrong. 
Well, goddamn, Sappho, I never claimed that I couldn't be wrong. Just in light of present circumstances, your behavior online, and everything that's happened so far, I kind of just felt like I had to exercise reasonable doubt in the face of your multitude of claims and continue to do so. See, it's not really helped by your pathological lying, and it doesn't really persuade me to give you much credit, if any. Before confidently saying that it's all fake, X to doubt. You know, no, no, really, come on. Continue to cast doubt on it now that it's literally in your fucking faces. Okay, so casting doubt is not the same thing as immediately refuting something. But Savo conflates both, so... And you have the ability to confirm. Confirm what? That the use of phones under very specific circumstances was permitted at the hospital that you stayed at? That's nothing really to shove in my face but a screen cap, presumably, of the application that you used for your stay. If it was even real, because, you know, those things can be sort of, like, fabricated very easily. All you really gave us was your assurance that you were in the hospital. And that reposted picture of your medicine bottles that you redacted to only show your first name. Valerie. Not very compelling, Val. Not very compelling at all. Good on you for having friends that were committed and they didn't have access to their phones. You know, good on most hospitals for not allowing patients to ever have their phones, like as they're in their stay. But that wasn't the case for me. Uh, yes, my phone was taken when I went to the ER, and I didn't see it again until I was actually in the psych ward. And I wasn't expecting to see it, like I said. I just happened to get lucky, I guess. Well, Sappho, to be fair, you didn't really provide a whole lot of evidence as to the extent of your stay, what was actually covered, your daily activities, things like that. All you posted was a little screen cap, presumably from like a medical app or something like that, and some medicine bottles as your evidence that you actually were there, okay? And I can't help but like exercise some reasonable doubt because that would require the rest of us to take your word for it. Um, now, for Tujo and other idiots and co, you know, just explain it all away. Just, just, uh, you know, explain it away somehow, now that it's in your faces. On that point, just like I said before, I'm just gonna say that you must not have been considered that high of a suicide risk if they just give you unsupervised access to your phone. And yes, I do have a firearm. Sappho's got a gun. Sappho's got a gun Just wanna tell everyone You better go and run Cause Sappho's got a gun And still consider removing myself from existence. There's a reason I'm a high fucking suicide risk. Man, it'd just break my heart if anything bad ever happened to poor little you, Sappho. No, it's not suicide baiting. It's just the honest fucking truth. Sappho, by my estimation, you haven't been honest once in your entire life. And my right to bear arms is not going to be fucking taken away. I guess that's helped by the fact that you moved to Tennessee over Connecticut. As according to Connecticut law, your gun probably would have been taken away from you by now. The fact is that the firearm is in a safer place now so that, you know... If I end up feeling a certain way, I have time to think about it, basically. I made a very serious video about very serious issues. Oh yeah, your serious video, your serious video. So goddamn serious, right? Including mental health and you disgusting people, especially Coyote Lovely, still continue to lie and be angry and encourage me to commit suicide. Kylie Lovely doesn't appear to be angry. He seems more determined to spread the word about your past transgressions, and I can't honestly blame him. And, uh, <laughs> you know, just so people know, Tujo is another drama tuber. I'm a drama tuber? And this entire time, I thought I was a commentator. Or as someone on my channel would like to say, a commentator. You know, he tacitly supports Kyle in this, um, Coyote Lovely, Kyle, um, you know, and his many, uh, you know, instances of him telling me to commit suicide, advising me to commit suicide, a felony in California, by the way, um, and his targeting of minors and, and so on. 
I, I just think it's kind of funny that Tujo continues to support him. My support of Coyote Lovely is independent of my endorsement of everything he says or does. All right? Uh, but anyway, uh, let's move on. Um, now, in that video, I said I may come back to do more hypnosis videos. And that's still true. I might start posting some hypnosis videos again and maybe some other stuff. I, I don't know yet. Despite the claims made by Kiwi Farms and other places with totally legit sources, you know, trust me bro, screenshots, uh, most of the claims against me are false. It's funny that you keep repeating that most of the claims against you are false, but you fail to even like cite a specific list or some examples as to what these claims are. I mean, regardless, blatantly untrue of past events or anything to go off of. It's a very bold and brash statement to discredit anyone critical of Sappho. All claims against Sappho are false. You know, whether entirely, whether altered, whether fabricated, or even just in part, um, you know, rendered in a false way and um, twisted around to be seen in, in the worst light possible. Um, most claims against me are false. All claims against Sappho are false. Don't believe me? Ask me, I'll tell you so. That's why I haven't been investigated. That's why I, I haven't even been, you know, questioned by police. You would think if I was a horrible criminal and this huge threat to society, I would have been contacted to law, by law enforcement at this point. I mean, right? Not really a defense of innocence. I mean, remember how Kiro the Wolf got off scot-free without any legal repercussions? In spite of being guilty of sin, I'm willing to bet that you're on a watch list or two by now. Uh, especially if you're going to go through the great lengths as to distribute a guide on how to hide from the alphabet soup agencies of the United States government. It's not like they have unlimited resources to continue justifying an investigation into, you know, some random internet person that has opinions people don't like. They have serious people to deal with, like people in their 30s and 40s, sex trafficking kids, and doing all kinds of other horrible shit. Those are the people they're after, not internet lady for having opinions you don't like. Your opinions are duly noted. We're not impressed. For almost everything I've ever done, it's always been twisted into looking the absolute worst way possible. Everything I'm guilty of is twisted to look the worst way possible. That's pretty false, because you did a pretty good job doing that to yourself. I mean, your activities, your conduct, everything that you set out to do. Am I missing something here, Sappho? You know, especially by the, uh, the narcissist, Coyote Lovely. See, the narcissism angle just seems like a bogus claim to me. It's like the pot calling the kettle black in your case. Like, are you a qualified psychologist to make that assessment, or is that just your opinion? Because... Massive narcissist, massive smug fucking attitude. As far as Coyote Lovely's smugness, that's just part of his shtick, okay? A lot of YouTubers are kind of like that. If you listen to 10 seconds of any of his videos, and you just immediately want to tear your eyes out and... Well, that's funny, Sappho, because I seem to remember how you complimented him on his lovely voice when you two first began talking. I get the feeling the only reason you're calling it atrocious now is because he didn't make you look good for the online community. You know, call like a crisis line. It, it feels like people still want me to be a symbol, you know? So, symbols... Uh, only have meaning when people constantly talk about them, constantly, you know, um, throw a fit. You know, if people just fucking shut up, that symbol would go away. <laughs> like, it's not that hard. Funny that you mentioned symbology here, because not months ago, you made yourself out to be a symbol of zoophile pride for Happy Zoofurry Pride! For paraphiles everywhere to rejoice for your staunch vigor and activism for maps and zoophiles everywhere. Which really only earned you the unilateral reprehension and scorn from the wider internet community. Um, that you're going to be a champion of zoophile rights. Remember Zeta in North America? Remember how you were so ardent in your quest to have zoophilia be accepted as an actual sexuality? Pepperidge Farm remembers. 
Uh, it almost feels like you want me to advocate for paraphilia still. I mean, is, is that what you want? Stop it. Get some help. What, what other option is there? You, you don't give any other option. So, uh, going on. Uh, Tusho is a guy that thinks he's cute and funny. Because I am cute and funny. Because he associates with Coyote Lovely, Kyle. Yeah, we're acquaintances. I don't know what that has to do with you being a zoophile or a pedophile, though. Uh, who has many times directly and heavily encouraged my suicide. You hold Coyote Lovely's statement of go kill yourself as the end-all be-all of someone's indecency, yet you yourself have shown nothing but hatred and bile towards Coyote Lovely, as well as various other members of the online community that you didn't get along with because of your desire of consorting with minors, but that's besides the point, right? Knowing that I am, I have mental issues, I, um... Do you have any idea how crazy you are? I'm a suicidal person, I'm vulnerable, and yet he still does it. Again, you're very quick to mention at every turn that you've got mental issues and that you're suicidal, and yet you go out of your way to present this tough front and put yourself into these weird situations that get you into conflict with other people. I mean, why do you put yourself into these situations? As well as targeting minors who have similar mental issues to mine and putting them on blast for his large audience. Okay, the targeting of minors is a pretty bullshit charge, considering you're the one that put them in harm's way in the first place. But uh, how is Kylie Lovely just off the top of his head at a glance, like engaging somebody that picks a fight with him? How is he supposed to just know that they're a minor, let alone their age? Because some people, for whatever reason, they put their age in their profile bio, but not all people do that, okay? And, like, how is he supposed to know the respective age groups of who he's engaging with unless they make it blatantly obvious? I wanted to respond to parts of his video just so we get a good idea of uh, who he is. Um, my name is Tujo Panda. I enjoy long walks on the beach, shaking my ass in front of the camera, and ragging on lol cows like you. But enough about me. And also so that the idiot aunties that think the exact same way, you know, maybe... Maybe you, you get a little something out of it, too. Yeah, hilarity will definitely ensue. I guarantee it. Uh, he even used Coyote Lovely in the opening to his new, totally dishonest and incorrect video. I think you meant to say totally correct and honest video. So let's go over that video because it'll make a lot of aunties look stupid, like I said, uh, for being like Tujo. Wait a minute, that is the guy! That's the guy that everybody's been talking about on YouTube and Twitter! Like, holy shit, they're right here in VR chat! Why aren't you guys doing anything? Get your fucking phones out and start complaining! Start bitching about it, okay? Tell, like, hide your wife, hide your kids, everybody! Like, this is the guy! It's the guy! It's the girl! It's the trans girl, the guy! Ah! Ah! Nice transphobia, Tujo. Uh, no, it being a skit does not excuse you. I mean, what the fuck? Okay, I have, without fail, referred to you as a she and a her, considering you to be a woman, alright? I refer to you as a guy in one joke skit while quoting something, and suddenly I'm a transphobic bigot, without fail. Okay, Sappho. Let's not forget that Tujo was also responsible for this racist masterpiece. Yeah. <laughs> the picture of Dragoneer was drawn by me as a subject of satirical comedy. It remains uploaded on DeviantArt to this day as a valued piece of art. I personally think it's a masterpiece, don't you? I mean, I'd hang that shit up on my wall. Sappho treats it as proof I'm a Nazi bigot. I guess nuance is okay, but satire's got to go. Um, so where does the truth lie? I'll let you all decide, because I already have. Yeah, he's, he's the one that made that. Also, that was posted back in December 6th, 2017, so that would be a little bit over four years ago, something like that. So a lot can happen in a period of about four years, don't you think? A lot more than just six months, at least. And don't forget that this is also the guy that decided to mock my voice just because I'm transgender. I wasn't mocking your voice for being transgender, dipshit. I was mocking you as an individual, as a person, okay? I was going beyond gender. 
Even my friends and followers could recognize that simple fact, and yet you couldn't without an explanation. But all right, here it is. I'm mocking you as an individual. Oh no, C- come on to show Coyote and the other average unintelligent auntie. X to doubt everything to this point. Continue to call it a fantasy fiction, come on. To be fair, this is kind of becoming a little bit of a fantasy fiction insofar as you misrepresenting the situation in your favor, independent of your past bad actions and wrongdoing up to this point. I mean, the only reason the internet gives a shit is because of how vocal you were about zoophile rights deserving the right to fuck their dog, and your continued contact with minors with a tone-deaf response to their safety and well-being. But no, please, continue to call me a dishonest idiot for the internet's amusement. Go ahead. Shut the fuck up, Tujo. Don't even fucking dare call it suicide baiting. You know, Safa, I'm starting to wonder how crazy you actually are. Because if you're this suicidal and you're this mentally deranged, um, what are you doing here on the internet? Like, I know that the internet has a pretty low bar of entry for just about anybody out there. But at the same time, if you're going to use that as a basis as to why people can't interact with you or express condemnation as to your online activities and behavior, um, you can't really use that as a convenient fallback to sort of discredit any critics out there of your atrocious behavior. If you were constantly harassed every day of your life for the next six months, you would probably feel the exact same fucking way. Oh, I don't know, Sappho. It's uh, not like you did the same exact thing to Coyote Lovely that you complained about people doing to you. I mean, you know, like you pretty much made an open invitation to all of your followers out there. Anybody that possibly had an axe to grind with Coyote Lovely for any transgression that he may have been committed, like guilty of in the past and proceeded to try to deplatform him on any like viable platform that he was a part of, whether it be Twitter, YouTube, anything of the sort, you absolutely want to destroy him for one innocuous comment and your best response when everybody was sort of questioning why are you dropping everything to go after this guy with everything you have is that this person wants to cause me harm and blah 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 blah. you know uh claims built on one innocuous comment one teensy tiny little comment this is gonna be funny he mocked you in the like the smallest way possible and you're willing to drop everything and go after him with everything you had lay all your cards on the table and throw all caution to the wind to start this dumbass fucking help ban coyote lovely hate campaign that thankfully didn't really produce a whole lot in the way of viable results but um yeah you know when it happens to you that's when it's a problem So you seem to have no qualms with initiating the same exact things that you claim people do to you, but, you know, push comes to shove, you're willing to do the exact same thing to other people. Okay. Tells me everything I need to know about you. Yes, I'm in therapy for my conditions and other issues. You know, I have to express some reasonable doubt that the fact that she keeps routinely, like, repeating that she's getting the help that she needs, but yet it's been, like, six months to a year, and I've seen virtually no improvement. Have you? Like, I'm curious. Has anyone in the audience right now, have you seen any noticeable improvement as far as Sappho's, like, litany of mental afflictions affecting her mind? Because, like, I'm listening. Do I really need to provide logs of all of the hospital visits and appointments? Really? Is that what you need? All of my personal, private, you know, health information? I'm just... Seriously. See, you cover your ass by following up and acting all offended by asking, What? Do you all need to see my personal information so you idiots will finally believe me? And, I mean, that's fair. But you're not really leaving a whole lot in the way of an alternative, besides us absolutely having to take your word for it. As a result, we're going to continue to cast doubt in just about anything you have to say, including your stint at the hospital. Sorry, Sappho. Oh, okay, so my remorse doesn't matter because I I brought it upon myself. Uh, All right, Tujo. I would imagine that your remorse doesn't really matter because you're a disingenuous fuck and fake as hell. Get away from me, girl. You smell like barf. Um, you know, another comment, by the way, uh, considering my, my mental health issues, is it, is it really that much of a stretch that I've been in therapy? Is is it really that hard to believe? Stop me if I'm wrong, folks, but I remember hearing this once upon a time. 
Oh yeah, back in December, almost a year ago. I mean, like, you know, the same claim, this tried and true message of I'm taking care of myself, I'm getting the care I so desperately need, and yet I don't see any improvement, virtually no improvement has happened thus far. I don't talk more slowly to be seductive or charming. I just talk a little slower than average. Why even bring this up? I bring it up because you seem like you were kind of waffling to make a point in most of those videos. You know, you literally make videos that are like an hour and a half long about me. But Sappho, I make long-winded videos as a stylistic choice that some of my fans have voiced preference towards. Um, I was referring specifically to your voice and how it seems artificially slow at times, because if you spoke just a little faster, some of your videos could have gotten to the point much faster than they did. And then you're the one trying to fucking diss on me for, for my voice and talking a little more slow. Piss off, Tujo. Also, yes, Tujo, many pieces of evidence source trust me bro were incorrect well i mean if you're asking for evidence of grooming now how's about i ask you just some basic questions all right do you remember gray sappho did you forget about gray and all of your intimate erp time with them and all the dms that you exchanged back and forth remember them i mean i guess that fits in with your whole quote-unquote european views as they were 16 years old at the time but yeesh what about Kylo? I mean, they were only 16 years old, too, when you threw, like, started getting all flirty over social media. Didn't take all that long for Kylo to realize how fucked up the situation was before he went public. I mean, even Becca Husky had to hop in and pretend you two were an item to try and cover your ass. I don't think you ever properly thanked her for that. Also, yes, I get to have opinions, but people like you have such a small capacity for philosophical or genuine, uh intellectual thought that you rely on your emotions and your your gut feeling instead notice that she always says that she has nuanced opinions and beliefs yet never goes into any great detail on how they're nuanced or what the actual beliefs are uh but no no hide, hide behind the fact you can say but 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 sappho the chi child grew groomer 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 like the fucking birds going, mine, mine, mine. You know, fucking everybody is a groomer now. No, just you. Fucking everybody. I don't get this trend. Um, and now, here, you get to listen to me now. Unfortunately, I'm listening to you now. And I'm calling you out for being a piece of shit, Tujo. Yes, you are a reactionary. And a sad one at that. You don't get an apology. I don't get an apology? Aw, oh, man. I was waiting all day for one. You didn't just insert your opinions. You flat out lied and attempted to insult me as much as you could. I mean, sure, yeah, the insults? Okay, I did that. But what lies are you referring to? I mean, she didn't bother listing what or how I lied about her, so it's kind of a mystery. Yeah, I do want to change. Okay, Sappho, I want you to listen to me very carefully. Wanting to change and actually changing are two different things. Like, you've said that several times, that you want to change. But I haven't exactly seen much change out of you and what you do online, alright? Hence why we're making this video right here, right now. It's also funny how you mention signs and... and proof of grooming right after this, yet presented zero evidence. So, signs of grooming and seduction come largely from your interactions with minors, some of whom came public when they realized just how bad they fucked up. I didn't post the evidence at the time because it kind of seemed redundant. I mean, I'd already used it all in my past videos. But you claim that I have none, and yet, did you watch any of my earlier videos? Did you have the time? I mean, you have time all day to, like, message random people and argue about why this, that, and the other is going on, but hey, maybe I was just being lazy and felt that the video was taking too long at the time. I mean, are you just gonna, like, gloss over the fact that you've watched my past videos and I post the evidence there? It seemed kind of redundant to post again, don't you think? Tujo. I wonder why that is, huh? I wonder why you couldn't provide a single fucking shred of evidence for that. 
You sure do like to say the word evidence a lot, considering the fact that you haven't provided any. But hey, I'm the one that's problematic here, right? Okay, Sappho. Also, guess what, Tujo? If you're attracted to a 16-year-old, you're a map. Where the fuck did that statement come from? <sighs> Maybe if you weren't a disingenuous ass, you wouldn't look so stupid. People that were attracted to Billie Eilish before they turned 18? Who the fuck is Billie Eilish? American songwriter that became famous in 2015 with her debut single, Ocean Eyes. She was 13 at the time. Well, I never even heard of her, and so I could have never felt a physical attraction for her, let alone the fact that she's 20 now in the year of our Lord and Savior 2022. The more you know. Oh, I, I guess they were all also pedophiles, according to you. Yes. Tucho, are you always this intellectually bankrupt? I might be intellectually bankrupt, but I know for a fact that you're ethnically bankrupt. Do you really need to rely on saying, oh, you haven't changed, to justify yourself? Actually, yes, considering the fact that you've historically made the same claim several times now, that you were getting the help that you so desperately needed and were taking care of yourself, but to date, we here on the internet have seen virtually no improvement. In fact, I'd actually make the argument that you've gotten worse. And the evidence being that, you know, I, I, I don't play nice with somebody that has actively encouraged my suicide and a whole bunch of other issues. All right, dude. No, you don't deserve a dignified response. You really think you deserve it? No. Yes, there is an us versus them mentality because of people like you. You then go on to say I threatened Coyote Lovely, which is totally untrue. Technically true, but only on a technicality. I remember very specifically in your help ban Coyote Lovely telegram chat that one of your followers believed he found where Coyote's home address was. You invited said follower to leave him a gift, then proceeded to drop a how-to guide on how to make a firebomb. That'd be like me starting a hate campaign against Kelly Shea, one of my subscribers saying, I think I know where he lives. And me dropping, like, you know, a hint to leave him a present. And then I post, like, a how-to guide on how to make a homemade hand grenade. That's, uh, that's pretty threatening behavior, just gonna say. And also said I went after Danderwolf for making a response. And no, I didn't. They uploaded my video in full, no edits to their Discord. And I threatened a DMCA because it was literally just my video with no commentary. Whether or not Danderwolf posted your video in full on the server should be independent of the fact that you treat him like he reposted it on YouTube. What he does in his Discord is his business, not ours. Get your facts straight, Tujo. My facts seem pretty straight to me. Doesn't that count for something? Once again, you're on, as usual. And once again, it's becoming harder and harder to believe that you're not being purposely intellectually dishonest. You know... I'm guessing that you've been this disingenuous and dishonest so far, because you didn't expect to be called out, did you? Actually, I was kind of waiting for it. You're just narcissistic and egotistical enough that you, any opposition to your desired outcome would be a personal front and grounds to go after people like me and Coyote Lovely, because we won't roll over and concede to your villainy. You want to know why I mentioned you two specifically, you and Coyote Lovely? I'm still willing to bet that the only reason that you targeted me and Cody Lovely is because of the simple fact that we're both furries. Therefore, other furries will probably, like, give us the time of day and actually listen to what we have to say over somebody like Turkey Tom or BS Harley or people like that, you know? Because, you know, at the end of the day, we're both furries already here, and you're a furry that wants to be a part of the fandom again. You just can't because enough people know of your bullshit. It's because you two are the most disingenuous and intellectually bankrupt of the entire bunch. That's why. And no, I did not try to get ahead of the curve at any point. Yes, you did. One of your admins actually got into it with you. Match a tiger. Remember him? Remember your hypnotist discord? The one before it became a zoophile paradise? Um, he just asked you some basic questions as to whether or not you were a zoophile, and the response you gave him didn't exactly convince him otherwise because you gave him a link to a fucking Zoo Earth and Thou podcast, which is made for zoophiles. So, perfect. Like, that's like saying, hey, are you a bank robber? 
and you give like the person asking you the question like you know a link to a video basically detailing how you robbed the bank um so yeah that didn't exactly fly over too well I'm guessing that you're paranoid that he was going to spill the beans about you because it seemed like right after that you made a spontaneous decision that you were going to make that coming out video telling the whole wide world out there that you were a zoophile and that you were proud. I mean the timing is just too perfect. If you decided to make that spontaneous decision independent of that happening, that has got to be the biggest fucking coincidence of the century. Alright, bar none. Everything I've done has been on my own volition, alright? And yes, Coyote Lovely is in the same bin of useless as you are. No, Coyote Lovely isn't intelligent, Tujo. He takes whatever is said and spins it in the absolute worst way possible. Are you seriously arguing that he carries himself professionally? Do you really think he's upfront and polite? Can, can you not see behind his obvious like smugness and narcissism and... Well, just hold on there, Sappho. You're starting to sound pretty smug yourself. I mean, look at how you act on social media and YouTube, getting on your high horse preaching to the rest of us that we're stupid idiots for even suspecting you of engaging in any wrongdoing. All of the other shit that he is? Really? I, I'm really trying hard to believe that you're genuinely just cognitively dissonant. You're very clearly not trying hard enough, sweetheart. And you're not trying to be, you know, malicious. Me? Malicious? Nah, Sappho, I'm just some dude over the internet. Also, there you go again saying I'm manipulative. Hmm. But Sappho, you are manipulative. We saw that plain as day when you reached out to Coyote Lovely for your first interview. You tried to sweet talk him to give you a more favorable outcome, and when he didn't give you what you wanted, you condemned him and called him a piece of shit and pulled a full 180. That's a uh, pretty manipulative behavior. Just remember, you support Coyote. Kyle. A transphobe? Racist? To date, I have seen no evidence to support the idea that Coyote Lovely is a transphobe or a racist, let alone a homophobe. Uh, as well as you, you know, you, that little artwork that you made and uh, your continued fucking transphobia. My continued transphobia? I have without fail referred to you as a she and her and recognize you as a woman. So I reject that statement right there. And support Coyote's endorsing and advising of me committing. Come at me. You have no legs to stand on. Well, as a matter of fact, I got two legs to stand on. And Tujo, no. Me being upset with Coyote has a lot more context than a simple comment. Would you care to explain that context for the rest of the class, or...? Where, by the way, he's making fun of my very serious video, uh, and wants to cause me more pain and suffering. No. You haven't changed. You're still a transphobe, racist, and support unsupportable garbage. You have no right to say I haven't changed just because I get upset with people. Shut the fuck up. You go on to call me pseudo-intellectual, but you're the living embodiment of a fallacy. Sticks and stones, Sappho. Throughout this entire video, you haven't really explained how I'm the quote-unquote living embodiment of a fallacy. I can say objectively that you're the living embodiment of all evil, though. I think you've been plenty discredited just in this video alone among your past as uh, an alt-furry, you know? Funny you should refer to me as an alt-furry when I remember you sharing literal pictures of furries dressed in Nazi uniforms. Either you get off to this sexually, or you're a Nazi. So which is it, Sappho? Also, I remember whispers and uh, rumors of you being in Xanadu, an alt-furry chat group. Yes, you 100% deserve to have your character questioned, Tujo. Ah, character assassination. You can't refute me on any of the claims and observations I made on your mode of character, so you'll go ahead and make every attempt to assassinate my character to put into question whether or not I'm a reliable source of information. Classic Sappho. You have no hard-hitting points, but speculation and in an intellectually dishonest worldview. Do you still think you're right? I know I'm right. Even with all of the evidence in your face? There's that magical word again, evidence. Um, 
I have a question for you, dear audience. What evidence has been presented in the entirety of this call-out video that discredits me exactly? See, you reference your stay at the psych ward, at the Hartford Institute of Life, you show a redacted picture of some medicine bottles. Everything else was literally you taking clips of my video and saying, ah, that's not right, here's the real story. That's not really evidence, that's you claiming like something else, all right? That's not really evidence, all right? Uh, do you still think that you're correct? Yes. Also, yes, bl blame me for everything. It's your fault, I'm bald! It's your fault, I'm old! It's your fault, I can't talk! It's your fault America has lost its way. Blame me for the people that support me. They're just... They're just shills. I I wonder where I've uh, where I've I've seen that before. Shills as a statement didn't originate on 4chan, you idiot. It's a historical practice in which gambling dens or parties would have complicit participants that were planted there in order to encourage others to gamble, thereby increasing the profit margins. But you're too historically illiterate for that. Also, I'm pretty sure normal people use that term on social media. Just saying. Blame me for grooming because I exist. I, I like how you also accuse me of being a cult leader. I mean, for, for fuck's sake, dude. Oh. Regardless, still nothing illegal, still not arrested, still not questioned. Still an incorrect understanding of the word grooming. Grooming. The action by a pedophile of preparing a child for a meeting, especially via an internet chat room with the intention of committing a sexual offense. Now, I would imagine that sharing of pornography, the indoctrination of various minors out there into believing that they themselves are zoophiles, maps, or paraphiles would probably factor into that, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that's the character Lucifer from Devilman Crybaby. I wouldn't expect you to know that you're not you're not the most intelligent or most in touch, but uh, uh, I'm sure you would know since you're a good Christian. At least you're, you're making yourself out to be one. Well, that's funny. I never really claimed to be a good Christian boy, but thanks for assuming. I'll be sure to hold a special thought in my thoughts and prayers for you and repenting for your past transgressions. Go to the church and ask God to fog you. Uh. Lucifer is also known as an angel that fell from grace because he sided with demons against God. But it's okay. I, I know you're too, you know, unintelligent to, to know these things. You're honestly pretty pathetic, and I'm starting to feel bad even making this video because... If I'm so pathetic, why are you making this call-out post and acting like I'm such an idiot? If it's so easy for you, then you could simply ignore all the videos I've made thus far. But you don't. I feel like I'm arguing with the equivalent of a toddler. Well, it's a good thing I'm not, otherwise you'd probably be trying to get in my pants right about now. Ah, uh, yes, the person that admitted to targeting minors and encouraging my suicide. Great person, Tujo. Yeah, definitely doing the Lord's work, as you say. I can see you're one of those good Christians. Go to the church and ask God to fuck you. Notice the fucking sarcasm. I don't even need to, he already makes himself look terrible. You're so blind to the fact that Kyle is manipulative, abusive, narcissistic, and has a god complex. It's like the dude's never had a consequence in his life. Excuse me, but do you have proof to back up your claims? You continue to defend his shitty actions and personality because it suits you more. I do believe that Coyote abused his partner, considering the way that he acts. Belief and knowledge of the fact are two entirely different things, Sappho. I love how you also uh, discredit Coyote Lovely's former partner, just because. Oh, it was just, uh, just a bad breakup. The, the former partner is lying about, about everything. That's, that's how it is. Uh, 
Well, that's funny, Sappho, because I remember a conversation that you had with Coyote Lovely not too long ago in which you kind of admitted the fact that you didn't know whether or not they were or weren't an abusive partner. And I'm going to go ahead and set the record straight. Like, they were not an abusive partner, but you're willing to sort of push that narrative to the masses in an attempt to make him look bad and put into question whether he was a legitimate source of information in this entire drama that you yourself cooked up. So, um, unless you were actually living with Coyote Lovely and their partner during the duration of their relationship, I would suggest you shut the fuck up right now. Uh, all right, Tujo. All right. All the cards are on the table. What cards? I thought we were playing 4D chess. You haven't changed. But Sappho, changed from what? You haven't, and neither has Coyote. Both of you are the same dishonest pieces of garbage, and both of you tacitly support abuse, transphobia, and other morally abhorrent ideals. Yeah, I know, ironic coming from me, right? Also, your voice when you attempt to imitate me is just flat out annoying. My heart swells with pride at the knowledge that a simple shift in my voice is enough to annoy the shit out of you. And you know that you can use your normal voice, right? Do you always have to be an annoying prick? Yes! Do you, do you have to be fucking transphobic and, you know, do a little gay voice to fucking, uh, you know, try making fun of me, dude? Fucking, literally, literally a third grader tactic. Literally elementary school. Ah, oh, God. Yeah, well... Alright. Anyway, that all being said, I think I'm done watching any more of Tujo's video. It's making me lose brain cells. There is a reason I sent a cease and desist to Coyote Lovely, and there's a reason I'm considering suing his ass for harassment and slander. You are marginally better than Coyote, but in the same bin of intellectually dishonest garbage. I also like how you think you're cute reading out private messages like it makes you look any better. No, it just makes you look like an ass. In closing, learn how to not be a moron, Tujo, and look like a total dumbass. Is it really that hard? I mean, I expect Kyle to be that way, but I at least have a very, very slightly higher opinion of you. And, uh, alright, so... Since you assholes want to try as hard as possible to get rid of me, I'm staying. I'm staying, and you know what? Fuck all of you. Curse the trolls! Paste everybody else. See ya until next time. Well, that's all she wrote. That's all she spoke. If you made it to the end of the video, I'd like to go ahead and congratulate y'all. Go ahead and give yourselves a cookie. You deserve it. Uh, I give you one myself, but I'm fresh out right now. What I can offer you instead are closing thoughts. So as far as breaking all of this down in sort of like a synopsis, where do I even begin? I'll just go ahead and say that that Mama Sappho, she is the grandmommy of all liars because that entire video was nothing but performance, all right? She is willfully ignorant when she has to be in a public eye because she wants to sort of like put on this dog and pony show to make it seem like she has a legitimate sort of like claim against like anything that I said in the past, anything anybody else has said in the past. She acts with this smug sense of satisfaction that she is intellectually superior to the rest of us. But, like, here's the thing. Number one, she says that she has nuanced opinions and that she sort of errs on the side of, like, philosophical conjecture and proceeds to never explain what that actually means. Like, how are your opinions nuanced? You say that your opinions on zoophilia have changed. You say that you have nuanced opinions in philosophical theory, like, you know, in line with all that, but you don't go into any detail as to how your opinions are nuanced or where your personal theories lie. She's like making it a point. She's like, it's a personal theory of mine. And, and then like nothing after that. Now, from what I learned in philosophy, that's a, that's a fallacy called begging the question, you know, like you leave it open-ended and you don't explain yourself. 
Uh, I certainly am not going to explain it for you. And nobody else out there is going to explain it for you. That's your responsibility, Sappho, not ours. And, like, on top of which, she just seems to be, like, you know... Okay, so for somebody that repeats the word evidence so often in the duration of this entire video, I have seen a severe lack of evidence. Unless you want to count the pill bottles and that screen cap of her stay at the Hartford Institute of Life. If she can even be believed having stayed there. Um, because a lot of her claims, they're kind of like, you have to take her word for it. Now, I don't know about you, but Hypnotis Sappho, to date, has shown herself to be a pathological liar. She says that all of the various screen caps out there are mere fabrications intended and designed to ruin her mode of character, that everything that's happened to date is mere fabrication, and that she's changed. But you know what? Like, what better way for me to sort of get to the bottom of all this and come to the conclusion of this video than just coming out and saying that she hasn't changed a goddamn bit. That is the TLDR here, all right? It is the same, like, sort of vicious cycle that she sort of gets herself into from then to now, ever since she started that whole coming out video where she's like, Hey everyone, I'm a zoophile and I think you need to accept me because it's a legitimate form of sexuality. Like to today, because remember how she periodically leaves during her absence? She's presumably hiding in the shadows, manipulating kids, indoctrinating them into, um, you know, believing that they are zoophiles themselves or paraphiles, as she likes to call them, which I still consider to be a blanket term to obfuscate the idea that, like, you know, the actual beliefs of people that are following her or she is openly associates with are absolutely horrible abhorrent individuals all right and here's the problem i always said it before i don't want to wake up one day and find like 20 30 40 cure the wolves running around but you know if there's anything to go off of in like you know her activities more recently than to now then she's been indoctrinating a lot of kids out there and they're all openly accepting the zeta symbol the mark of the beast as i like to call it because they legitimately want to believe that they are zoophiles themselves and they will defend to the death her good name as well as the fact that they are zoophiles all right and that zoophiles deserve just as many rights as the lgbtq community so that all to be stated um i can only imagine where this is going to go from here all right Hymnus Sappho, she said that she was here to stay, but more recently she has left and flown the coop. Uh, like, go ahead and hold your breath to see how long that's going to last for, because I would imagine all it would take are like a few key events to take place for her to come rushing right back to defend her good name. And now for something completely different. I haven't seen it. Yeah, you know, obviously it was extreme. So why the and, fuck you are know... you here? I ended up in a fucking hospital. Jackass. Why the fuck are we here? I almost blew my fucking head off. Maybe you should hospital. have. Maybe so it would you... save us a lot of fucking oh, problems. Oh, really? Oh, okay, yeah. Good luck uh, keeping okay. your I, I, I Well, I mean, you, you went in to bomb a hospital or something? No. You're telling me I should have blown my head off. Really, Cass? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I, I just want everyone yeah. here to take note of that, and I, I want to make sure that people, okay. you know, report okay, on that. Oh, okay, listen, you, you've groomed children, and you've hurt a lot of animals. Oh, uh, uh, yes, I'm dead. so, I'm oh, so, the police are so repentant. About me. A fucking it's pedophile so got you're, mad because I told him to kill himself. Oh. You're just trying to derail <laughs> the, the conversation, and it's not about yeah, you. I'm just, I'm just saying, here, here's a word of advice. I say, if you really want to pull the trigger... Do it. Just a little Hi, word of you did, fucker. I'm not even hearing you, Cass. <laughs> All right, hold on. Give me a sec. I think we should just remove her at this point. She's just trying to yeah, derail I'm, the I'm, conversation. Yeah. All right, hold on. Yeah, yeah, and, and, um, um, I'm aware. Let me talk. So, Safa, if you want to play this game, I say, "Be gone, fuck." The trigger. I say, "Go ahead." And you know what? I'm gonna meet her every step of the way. I do apologize, I do sincerely apologize to the rest of you all that this video took so long to come out. I was in a little bit of a slump and I had a lot to take care of, but you know what? Tuju Pan is officially back in action. We're going to see where this goes. Only time will tell. Thank you all very much for watching this video. Till next time, guys, take care and peace. I hope you all have a better one.
Hey, fellas. Thanks for watching the video today. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Or did you care about that like button to subscribe for more? You know, I really appreciate that, right? And hey, if you're in the mood for game, why don't you check me out on Twitch sometime? Link in the description below. Anyway, till next time, guys. Take care and peace. I hope you all have a better one.